Hi, recording again. Um, another quickie. One thing that's cropping up a lot on the dear old internet and Facebook is uh, I have a 18T, what's the best standalone ACU? It's just cropping up repeatedly. So, a brief uh, foray into why the Ignatron is by far the most appropriate, best ME7 plug and play replacement, bar none, which I keep saying, which no doubt antagonizes some people. But there's method to the madness. It, it just genuinely is. Um, it's not a one ACU is trying to be all things to all men. It is designed to work on the, the VAG ME 7.5 platform cars. As a consequence, uh, the designer, Balash, has done a tremendous job. So, briefly, why is it so good? Setting it up out of the box, from box to start, can literally be done with less than five minutes and not just start ropily, starting with like a factory car. It, it seems hard to believe, but genuinely, you tell it what size injectors you've got, you go through the base file wizard like we have here, you base your engine code, what, what, what's the car base from? Do you want to use a MAF? Typically we don't because we use these on bigger turbos. You just click through, tell it what you've got, what you haven't got, uh, map sensor, three bar, four bar, tell it an injector size, I'm gonna have a thousand cc's, uh, what fuel you got, high octane, low octane, do you want to knock sensors to be less sensitive, more sensitive, do you want VBT, yeah why not, it's good, is it a big turbo, small turbo, so you can go through all this, all these settings, you create a new settings file, you write it to the ECU, we're offline at the minute so that's not going to happen, and then you essentially go through two more steps, simple steps, telling the uh, throttle position. With no foot on the pedal, you say minimum, you put your foot on the throttle pedal, you tell it maximum. You go into throttle settings, that's your e-gas. You perform basic setting, just like you would in a, an ME7 on block, block 60. It does its thing, comes back saying ready. You write it to the, to the ECU, you turn the key, the thing starts. And it not just starts ropely, it starts like a factory car. You can even drive it around the block uh, gingerly, obviously if you've got a wacky turbo and potential big boost and real stiff actuators, etc. you know, caution. But you'll drive it around and you will not believe just how well it drives. That's not saying it's mapped, because it isn't, but it's a very good starting point. Now in addition to that you have sensors overview, which is a whole bunch of gauges. Uh, you can have extra sensors on there, we would typically add fuel rail pressure, we add oil pressure, oil temp depending on your car will already be picked up from your dashboard, early cars that won't work if they're not canvas, but you can add external sensors to it. Um, so this is all visible data logging, so let's say it's configurable, so if you have a sensor and you know the scaling, you can create a scale for it. Uh, like with the fuel pressure, we use the same sensors for both fuel and oil. But you can just add these in, it's simple as. Uh, if you want to have what I think is important things, limp modes. Uh, you've built a bigger turbo car, you've got a lot of money invested in the engine. How about letting an ACU that has the ability to save it for you in case, dare I say it, shit happening? This may well save your investment on your motor, for example. Ask yourself how many other ECUs, when you add the sensors, can do a fuel pressure check and drop it into limp mode if you have a deviation on fuel pressure, i.e. the fuel pump is starting to fail. This will find it. It'll bring your attention to it because it will drop you into limp mode if you, you enable this. Oil pressure. If you're losing oil pressure, you kind of want to know about that. It can drop you into limp mode. If you're running too hot on EGTs, if you're running too hot on coolant temperatures, if you've gone above map sensor, if you're over boosting, the pipe came off your wastegate for example, uh, it can shut it down. Uh, two, two lambda checks, so if you're just drifting off on requested versus actual lambda, so you're leaning out, it will shut down. All these things can help save your motor. Now this CCU has closed loop wideband lambda built in. There's no external boxes, there's no external controls, there's nothing else to wire in. It reuses what's already on your car. Likewise on EGT equipped cars like AMKs and BAMs. It just reuses it, it's there. You plug it in, you tell it it's there. Knock sensing, again, how many other issues have actually onboard 
in ECU, no external box is required to do knock control and knock checking. And again, you can go into limp mode, definable, you can change all these numbers. Uh, if you start running into knock, you've picked up a really crap tank of fuel uh, on your way to an event. What was 99 was 95 and some water. Uh, don't laugh, it's happened, we've seen it. Uh, this will tell you before you actually destroy your motor. So you have all these safeguards built into this ECU. In addition to that, the data logging, which is second to none, if you want to go review where you are, and if you're hobbyist and like just enjoy this shit, if you want to go playback a data log, so have a data log on the right, you've got all the ga gauges going on here, you can see exactly what was going on during this pull. What was good, what was bad, there was some not going on here. You can stop and pause it and go, hang on, let me have a look. Yeah, at that point, we had we drove it into into a bit of knock. You can go back in, look into your ignition table. There we are. Look where the yellow thing is. That's exactly where that event happened. You're playing it back. The ECU records a lot of parameters internally on auto log. Uh, we have a def you know, default table plus a bunch of other things. So it's 32 internally you can log. If you're using these uh, Ignitrons with uh, the Windows tablets, and I can strongly advise, please do, because you get a tablet view, you can record every parameter that the ECU is looking. And I mean everything, all data. So look at the, the data that's logged here on the right-hand pane. This is all data logged. It's just immense, I mean, far too much information to look at in one go, which is why you can create templates and have your own view on stuff. So I quickly created one for demonstration purposes called Ignition. I'm just looking at Ignition stuff to window down on what's important to you. But the flexibility on this ECU is just stunning. Um, it's by far the best ECU I've ever touched. Um, we've touched a few. We still use a lot of the older generation ECUs, but they just don't have the performance and flexibility and features that this Signatron does for the 1.8 turbo ME7 platform cars. It truly is awesome. Anyway, enough rambling. Uh, Ignatronists who know already know this is that good. Uh, to everyone else, it just is that good. Please take it seriously. It's a weird name. No one's ever heard of it. But it's making some uh, people take, pay attention to it because the feature rich and the price point is just stunning. So, uh, yeah, enjoy.